I'm going to take my card. Welcome folks, it's Nick here, it's the start of day six. Just been for a walk along the river by the campsite. The campsite I'm at is near Kolding in Denmark, a couple of hundred kilometers from Copenhagen. And it's at a place called Middelfart, would you believe? And I've forgotten its name, so I'll have to flash that up. But it's really nice campsite, very well located in the, in the woods bit of a nature reserve I think uh, I'm not sure what sort of animals are up there but look at this river it's about 16 degrees I think so very pleasant indeed very breezy today's plan is to head to Copenhagen and I'm going to stay there for three nights I think going to stay there for about three nights so I can get to explore the city itself. Anyway, I'm going to sit, have some juice. I've had breakfast, a yogurt and some Danish pastries, would you believe? And then I'm going to head off, all packed up, ready to go. What a beautiful location. One thing I will say is they take security quite uh, seriously here to get in anywhere, including the toilets, you have to enter your personal code. So don't look at this. Hope you turned away. Right down to the shower. So it's two kroner 75 per minute so you put in your code and you get a minute's worth of shower and then it turns off you have to put your code in again which is um not great but it's the way they're making their uh, their business work so that's good anyway bikes all packed up just about and i'm ready to roll see you on the road somewhere
I stopped for lunch at a petrol station because that was the far easiest thing to do. I've come off the main drag and I'm sort of heading through uh, mainish roads but then every now and again you'll see a little village off to the side and so I'm exploring those villages and here's one I've just stopped at. A rather attractive place to stop for a few minutes and just stretch my legs. Still a uh, long way from Copenhagen but getting there slowly. Hopefully there'll be more interesting stuff to see on the way. This is really blustery here. Mind you, with me and my baggage, it's a bit of a sail. What a lovely day though. Really the water is. It's not getting any less blustery. I wonder what the next bridge is gonna bring. It looks higher still. Land ho. Well, a little bit of it anyway. Not for long though. It's going to be the same.
I deliberately went to what I hope was a quiet quiet booze on the corner hoping that nobody came up behind me because you can never tell whether it's going to read the card or what the instructions are on these tolls and tip of the day for <laughs> don't follow a motorbike into a toll booth thing because you've got to uh, wait for them to get the gloves off and all the rest of it and a motorbike with foreign plates on definitely don't do that and if you know it's me on there absolutely not anyway back onto the route we're on the E20 just for a, a little while and then we're doing a curvy route looks quite interesting and where it's taking us maybe I should have had a look it's taken us off the E20 and so hopefully it'll be a bit more of an interesting route Uh, not promising, does it? But then that's the third exit. What are we thinking? Here's the first. Here's the second. Yes, the third exit is closed. Yeah. Let's see whether we can get round it another way then. not to put up diversion signs though a nuisance well it looks as if we go down this one a little way to Hauksgolven hopefully we'll eventually be able to get back on that road I don't know how far up that road the problem is but whatever the problem is but we'll see. If not, I'm just going to hop back on the E20 because it's not really giving us a curvy route. It's just a route through the town by the things. I think probably where that bus is turning. Oh, hold on. Look, there is a yellow sign with a black line. Maybe, maybe I missed it. Looks like it's probably the diversion sign. Let's just see. Yep, there's that yellow sign again. So, sorry, Denmark. Showing diversions and I've been ignoring them, not seeing them. Lack of observation. Anyway, back on route in a minute. Yep, back on the route. Let's hope it's a little bit more interesting than the E20. I'm sure it must be. another little bridge well we're just arriving at the camping site Quite the same sort of location as the previous one. Absalon camping.
and see what the score is. We're checked in for three nights. Another gate card. There we go. Zero nine. So one of these. Look, it's just there. Hopefully, not as many stones on this one. Right. As yesterday. Yesterday was a beautiful sight, but it had stones embedded everywhere. If I don't speak to you later, I want to say we've done 232 miles. We're just outside Copenhagen and it's been quite a pleasant ride. Getting quite a bit of motorway, some off motorway and all the rest of it. Fairly varied. Um, but all that leaves me to do is say bye for now. <laughs>